Ed Boyd with me now to take us through the market reaction yep. as well. Thanks, Ed. So let's start with the biggest profit result today, Australia's biggest bank, the Commonwealth. It almost single-handedly has driven our share market to record highs in recent months. The CBA's half-year cash profit, it's soft, down 3% to $5 billion. Rising costs and strong competition for both home loans and deposits have squeezed its net interest margin to 1.99%. The div dividend, the interim dividend, up $0.05, cents, $2.15 a share. That's about 72% of profit. And this is a key target for the board. Well, today I spoke with the Commonwealth Bank's Chief Executive, Matt Common, and asked him about those costs squeezing its margins. Our expenses in totality were up 4%. Our income was flat or 0% growth. So you'd say we absorbed uh, the inflation. Now, banks work differently to our other businesses, but that's ultimately what happened. And we had lower loan losses than we otherwise anticipated, mainly as a function of what we were talking about earlier, lower unemployment. So, of course, we have to be thinking about uh, shareholder profit, profitability, dividends in the period, in a six-month and a 12-month period, but in, particularly importantly over the long term. But it has to always start with doing a great job, serving our customers, delivering a great experience, being there for them every day and being able to support them through the good times and the more challenging times. So, Ed, I just explained how the CBA shares have driven the market up recently. Mm -hmm. Did they keep doing it today? They did not do that today, Ross. Uh, they actually dragged the market down. Banking sector was the worst performer, all thanks to Combank. Shares started the day at $116. That's just $1 off its record high set just a couple of weeks ago. Shares were down almost 4% early in the day. They did recover somewhat to be just down by 1.66%, Ross, in the afternoon.